After the disastrous Johnny Asteroid signing and the money lost on the huge marketing campaign, Zoom Records went bankrupt. Duke Marmalade found himself owing millions of dollars to the wrong people, and authorities began investigating him on charges of fraud and racketeering. In 1991, he turned state's evidence against Mafia crime boss Antonio Esposito. He entered the Witness Relocation Program in 1992, and his whereabouts are unknown. Fletcher Bates finally decided that he needed help, and he went into rehab to kick his addiction to pain pills. It was there that he met nurse Penelope Anderson, and the two fell madly in love. With her support, Fletcher kicked his pill habit and returned to school, earning a bachelor's degree in landscaping. In 1998, he made the decision to return to music and put together the Fletcher Bates Band with ex-Bangkok's drummer Kevin Kirshner and former Shiny Things bassist Roy Randolph. The band scored a minor hit with the song Radio in the summer of 1999 and found themselves embarked on a 30-city tour across the United States. I'm glad Fletcher was able to live out his dream of being a rock star and had some success with it. At a performance in Tennessee, Balthazar Morris suddenly reappeared. Well, I was traveling more than I have seen a bit of the world. I know it was more to life than cornfields and sitting by the mill pond and skipping stones. Balthazar was working as a cashier and stock boy at a local drugstore chain in Memphis. When Lana Lovelady, drummer for alternative band Pink Kitties, heard that one of her favorite artists was mopping floors, she headed to Memphis and tracked down the elusive singer. Lovelady persuaded Balthazar to return to music, and with a little assistance from friend Vincent Tuscalini, they put together a new version of Johnny Asteroid, featuring Balthazar and the members of Pink Kitties. Avery goes, hell yeah, we should sue his ass. You know, he was right, we did. We, we stopped, the, stopped the tour, if you can call it a tour, because it, I, by that time it wasn't doing much because people were kind of caught on and it wasn't really us. Shortly after the lawsuit was settled, Balthazar suffered a complete and total nervous breakdown, one from which he has yet to fully recover from. Scary green ghost, scary green ghost. Avery Lowe still lives in Holly, Michigan, where he runs a nursery. I've always liked plants and flowers. He is happily married with two children. After leaving Johnny Asteroid, Miles Elliott earned a degree in teaching and now teaches poetry at an all-girls school in upstate Vermont. Due to scheduling conflicts, Miles was unable to be interviewed for this documentary. However, he sent us a message that he asked us to read. Dear friends, it was over 20 years ago that the guys and I gathered in an empty classroom and recorded a tape that would be loved by thousands of people across this country. Some critics say we were never a real band. Some say the music we made was nothing special. But to those who were there and experienced the magic, and to those who enjoyed what we did and passed it on to their family and friends, I say this. Johnny Asteroid Forever. Thank you.